ARK Invest founder and CEO Kathy Wood was relatively unknown in 2018. That year, her $4,000 call on Tesla put her on the map, and her investing style made her a star during the pandemic. She believes disruptive growth stocks are the best strategy, regardless of whether they're profitable or not. Her ARK Innovation ETF, which we rate at 2 out of 10, has had variable returns over the last four years, and that hasn't stopped financial pros from digging into it. ARK is amongst the most popular ETF searches according to data from Trackstar, a proprietary sentiment indicator, and the ETF is off to a hot start in 2023. So will this be the year that Kathy Wood's fund returns to glory? Now, ARK is an actively managed ETF. It invests in what it calls disruptive innovation, and that includes companies in fintech, AI, automation, robotics, energy storage, and DNA tech. At any given time, it has 35 to 55 positions, and the top 10 holdings make up around 63% of its weight. Approximately 52% of the fund's weighting is in mega and large cap stocks. ARK is one of the most actively traded ETFs. It offers options trading ranging from weekly expires to long-term leaps, but ARK doesn't pay dividends. If you want exposure to high growth stocks via ETFs, you also have several alternatives out there. ARK is the most concentrated amongst its peers, and in terms of fees, it has the highest, and unlike the others, it pays no dividends. Turning to performance, ARK Innovation has lost almost 30% in the last three years. ARK is a discretionary ETF, and how it selects stocks isn't clear. You're really investing in the manager, and despite an amazing return in 2020, the fund is down over the last five years. It did, however, have a bounce earlier this year. However, we view the ETF as a trading vehicle and not a long-term investment. You'd be better off with RWJ or SPHB, both of which have solid returns, more consistency and dividends.